I have a I have a question for you from our producer Peter. He wants to know um, the press. The Filipino press is calling you the next big thing. How does that feel to be called that? Uh, that's that's amazing. I mean, when I, actually when I realized, just like from the ages of like 16 to I don't know like 40, there's not many many like leading man um, actors in the entertainment industry, and I happen to be one of them. So I'm just trying to. When I went back to the Philippines, I realized that. Yeah. Uh, I just opened for Bruno Mars Day like a couple months wow. ago. And then I got to see, meet all the, the, the heads of the companies and stuff, and they were offering me all these movies, and I was like, it sounded great, but I was like, I need to get back here and stuff. But, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's a, it's a lifetime, you know, opportunity of a lifetime to maybe change our races, yeah. you know. Exactly. No, I mean, represent big. It's time. We have Bruno Mars in music. We need some leading Filipino actors. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, uh, so I'm just continuing. I'm producing still. I just produced, uh, finished up Killer Holiday, and I'm uh, executive producer on that and st starred in that. Um, just finished a couple films. I did one in um, Georgia, uh, the country, Georgia, which is by Russia, 24-7 uh, Fahrenheit, and another one in Music High. So I've just been working constantly in the past five months where I've been very happy um, because I was taking a break when I was producing. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's a, a lot of work. But you sometimes you're busy music, acting, it's great. Yeah, you got to keep, yeah, you got to create the opportunity sometimes. So. And the ladies will kill me um, if I don't ask about your love life. How's it doing? You're single still? You have a girl? You single? <laughs> I'm single. I'm single in... Um, I'm 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 still looking for her. Okay. And what does what does her have to be? What what does she got to bring? What's that one thing that drives crazy. Michael? There's a lot of things. But you know how there's that something. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe the way she speaks. Maybe like she can hang out with a guy. Really, we're really really with a thing. I got a foot fetish. Like I love like I love women with really pretty feet. I feel like if you can love, which is known to be the ugliest thing of a person's body, which is their feet, you works. just you just love them forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. If if I can kiss their feet, I will love them forever. Feet up to the heart. Up to the smiling eyes, and then I like the I like the little rump too. I like the little okay. I like to walk by and booty man. <laughs> Let's talk about these tattoos. That you, you know we got. Um, oh yeah, this one is, this one says life, and upside down it says death. I read death to remind myself to live every day like my last. Uh, my world is a yin yang. I drew this out actually, and then this nice. is my slogan says to the top, to the top, and then this is uh, Albert Einstein. Imagination is more important than knowledge. So um, no, no, you you can't show your uh, tattoo like that because the guns. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna hurt our camera, man. You're making me feel weak. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was my first one. Yeah, Celtic Cross. Uh, I got a little Irish in me, and then uh, I'm gonna actually finish this up this week. Actually, so I'm excited. I'm getting um, I'm getting um, Optimus Prime on my calf. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all them. Like, a transformer. Old school Optimus Prime, not yeah, the new one. Not the new one. Yeah. And lastly, Twitter. What's the best way for people to keep in contact? Yeah, Twitter at Michael Copon. So it's M I C H A E L C O P O N. All right, much love. We'll have a good time inside, man.